everybody welcome back to my channel this is the next word in my word of the day series in association with mrs wordsmith now i know i've mentioned this before but i really do recommend that you have a look at their website they've got some fantastic products on there not all of them are payable they've got some lovely things that you can download to keep your learning going at home whilst the schools are closed they do also have some payable products such as my storytellers dictionary you can tell that this one's been really well loved and the lovely thing about the storytellers dictionary is that it has words organized into categories rather than alphabetically there is an alphabetical index at the back if you're that way inclined but the reason that I love this is because the children in my class, you can see these are looking words here. So words for looking. And that's where our word of the day comes from today. But um, if you are writing a story or, or doing a little piece of, of writing about whatever, really, um, you it's not always easy to look in an alphabetical index because you don't know what you're looking for. Um, but having them organised in, um, you know, we've got looking words, walking words, if you're describing a scene, you might have wet words or dry words or hot words for weather, that kind of thing. So um, my children in my class find that really, really useful. And the fact that they are illustrated as well, A, makes them more fun to learn, B, makes them more memorable, and C, helps children to make that connection between the picture and the word which is um, is backed by reams and reams of scientific research it's called dual coding so what that means is that your brain picks up things and remembers things better if you have the words and the visual to help you remember so that's um, that's science you can't argue with science anyway so um, yeah definitely check their website out have a little look um, you can you're more than welcome to share these videos with your friends and um, spread the love of Mrs. Wordsmith. Right, I'm not gonna hang around today. My next word, as I mentioned before, comes from our wonderful Storyteller Dictionary, page 30, and it is a looking word. So it's a word that you can use instead of look. Sometimes when we're writing, it gets a bit boring to use the same word over and over, and it does get a bit boring to use the same word over and over if we're talking. I looked at this and then I looked at that, gets a bit dull. So our word of the day is a looking word. It's a word that you can use instead of looking. And it is scrutinize, scrutinize. And it means to inspect or study, like when you look up something up close and in detail. Have you ever done that? Have you ever done that where you've kind of thought, oh, there's something just quite interesting there and you look really closely and you inspect it in lots of detail you scrutinize it and you can see that Shanghai the giraffe in the picture there he's got a magnifying glass and he is looking really closely at Bernice's icky long toenails so he is scrutinizing them he is inspecting them or studying them really really closely so our word of the day today is scrutinize and it means to inspect or study like when you look at something up close and in lots of detail and you can see there that it is a verb a verb is an action word or a doing word so like jump look see sit climb all these action words these verbs and he is scrutinizing Bernice's icky long toenails he's looking very closely he's studying them in lots and lots of detail so when I thought oh we're going to be writing this word we're going to be learning this word I went to one of my favorite websites which is this website here and um, the online etymology dictionary if you're going to have a look on this website guys I'm more than happy for you to do that but please just check with your parent or guardian first that you're allowed to go onto other websites that um, are not I know you're allowed to watch this channel, but just please check for me. So I went on to the online etymology dictionary and I was like, where does this word come from? Because it's a, a bit of a strange word. There are lots of words that end in eyes, I-S-E. Maybe you can think of some, maybe you can write a little list. But I thought, where does this word come from? So I looked it up and it says, it stems from the Latin verb 
scrutari, spelt like this, and that means to search or to examine. So if you're looking for something or examining something very, very closely. And yeah, so that's where it comes from. It comes from Latin. Surprise, surprise, we know that 60% or thereabouts of the English language does come from Latin roots. So this word is no exception. It comes from scrutari. I think I'm saying that right. I have no idea. I'm not an ex expert at Latin. Um, but it means to examine or search for. So the word of the day is scrutinize and it means to inspect or study, like when you look at something up close and in detail. You are gonna have two challenges to do with this word today. Number one is going to be your handwriting and I am gonna scrutinize your handwriting. I'm gonna look really closely and in lots and lots of detail. So what am I gonna be looking for when I scrutinize your work? I'm gonna be looking for a few different things. The first thing that I'm going to be looking for is your T's, your letter T. So I mentioned this the other day that when we write the letter T in school, we um, use a specific handwriting system. Um, that means that our letter T is only gonna be three quarters the height. It's not gonna go all the way up to the top line. It's just gonna sit just below that. So I'm gonna be checking that your letter T's are um, three quarter height and that they're nice and straight. We don't want them leaning over. Um, so yeah, that's one thing I'm going to be looking for. Nice, straight, three-quarter height tees. I'm also going to be scrutinising your work very closely. Now this is where it's really useful when you send me a photo, because when I look at your photos on my computer or on my iPad, I can zoom in, I can pinch, I can make it bigger. And what that will let me do is it will let me see whether you have lifted your pen off the page. Now, the idea of our joined up handwriting that we're re actually really, really good at in year five, um, now that we're getting further up the school, we're much better at this, is when you put your pencil on the paper to do that S, you don't need to lift your pen or pencil up until you get all the way to the end of the E at the end of scrutinize, okay? So you're gonna start with your letter S and you are not gonna lift that pen or pencil up until you get to the end of the word. Obviously at the end, you will need to lift your pencil up to cross your T and dot your I, that's absolutely fine. But apart from that, for the, for the main body of the word, you don't need to lift your pencil up. So I'm gonna scrutinize your work. I'm gonna look really closely, I'm gonna zoom in, and I'm gonna see if there are any gaps in your joining up. So before I run the time lapse of your handwriting, just quickly again, the word of the day is scrutinize and it means to inspect or study like when you look at something up close and in lots of detail. Here's your time lapse, go.
Okay, now you have finished your handwriting, I have got another challenge for you, challenge number two. Now challenge number two, um, you don't really need anything for it, I'm going to show you on the screen. You might want to um, note a few things down, but you absolutely don't have to. Um, and you can send me um, your answers if you want, but this is really just a little bit of fun. Your job is going to be to spot the difference. There are going to be a few differences between the two pictures. They're very, very similar. You're going to have to scrutinise them very, very closely in order to spot the amount of differences. But here's the deal. I'm not going to tell you how many differences there are between the two pictures. So... Okay, brilliant. So you guys have now completed both your challenges for this word of the day in association with Mrs. Wordsmith. Um, well done. Thanks for joining us. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for another word of the day.